here and go to the bathroom everywhere. I'm gonna have to go get the paper towels. I'm gonna make a mess. Babies are in here too. Let me go get some napkins. Because you are messy. Excuse me. Blueberry. Here. Oh, and one underneath you. There it is. No, no, don't pull that. Can you stop? <laughs> Brad? I know you want to eat the squirrel, but you're not allowed. Here, you want another one? Hey, how's it, how's it going? How does this stream look? Does it look okay? She looks like she's gonna jump on the camera. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. And she's just wondering what I'm doing and listening out for Luna because Luna's behind the door. So she's probably a little freaked out hearing her. Yeah, I would have been streaming before if I was allowed. Today, chef, this is a flying squirrel that snuck into my house. And she had babies here, so I figured I'd take care of her and her babies until her babies are big enough to go back outside, and then we're going to let them go. Yeah, she hears Luna walking around. Yeah, I got banned. I got a 90-day ban. I talked about it on my last stream, but yeah, they banned me for 90 days and I just got it back today. I hear the babies walking around. I might grab one of them to make sure they're all okay. Let me give her new food too. 
because the food that's in her bowl is already partially eaten. She's just eating blueberries right now. And she's still super friendly. Even though I don't really play with her at all. Yeah, I was going to let her go this week, but, um, or not just her, but her and her babies. And unfortunately, when I, when I read up on them, it says that they can't really start gliding on their own until eight weeks. So I still have a little bit of extra time that I have to hold on to them before I put them outside. I just don't want to put them out there and then have something come down and just grab them and eat them because they can't defend for themselves, you know, or they can't fend for themselves, but... Um, Luna, can you not? I know Luna wants to come in here really bad, but she's not allowed. Here, look, there's some sunflower seeds in there for you. Here, look, right there. See? Sunflower seed, just like you like, your favorite. Hey, little gaming, what's up? <laughs> yeah. I think she just, um, she just really, really loves sunflower seeds. So she'll get in the bowl with all the food and everything. Hang on, I'm trying to get this tripod to sit still. See if I can get one of the babies to make sure they're okay. I haven't seen them in like four days. Oh, they're all spunky now. Hold on, buddy. Come here. You're okay. There you go. Look at this little guy. Look at how cute they are. They're doing so good. They're big. Look how big he is compared to my hand already. They grow so quick. Wait, come here. Now you're gonna run away? <laughs> come here, buddy. Here's, let me put him in with his brothers. Come here, you can go back. Here you go. Go back in the pouch. Back in the pouch. <laughs> Not out, you gotta go back in. Go, go inside. There you go. Okay, so he's okay. I'm gonna assume the other ones are okay too, but I'm just gonna peek my head in there to make sure. You guys keep an eye on her for a second. Oh, my zipper's down. We don't want one of them to crawl in there either. <laughs> All right, let me see here. One, two, three. Okay, they're all good. 
There's three of them in there. But I don't want to touch the other ones. Yeah. I put the pouch in here. And they've been... This actually is normally standing up. But I have to clean it because she threw the food all over and then pooped and peed all in the corner here. So I'm going to clean all this out tonight. Give her some new water because this has been sitting here for a couple days. Um, you know, just making sure they're all okay because... I don't really play with them or anything. I just kind of leave them in this room for now. Um, they've only been in this cage for like a couple days. Uh, I actually just set this up. I, I did a live stream on Twitch where I was setting up the, the stuff for this. But um, I planned on letting them go and I couldn't. So uh, I, I couldn't safely let them go, I should say, in the sense that those babies are not big enough yet. And I don't want them to just get eaten when I put them outside. So for now, I figured I'd give them some food and water, let them have a safe place to live, and then as soon as the babies are ready, they can go. Hey, please don't jump on me. Or go out there, because then Luna's going to get you. I guess she wants to explore a little bit. She's going to poop and pee everywhere. Where are you going, Mom? She's probably gonna go find a bug in the corner. The babies are moving around in here. I see the pouch moving. Do you guys see it moving? Right here in the corner, where one of the babies are. All right. So anyway, all the moms. Oh, there she is. She's peeking her head out. I think she's coming out. In the meantime, I'll start getting this paper out here so I can clean it. on top of the cage. I hope she doesn't go all the way up there to that. Oh no, there's a bunch of bugs up there. She can't go up there. She's gonna eat them. I'll try to. And she can't eat those bugs. Don't go up there, you're not allowed. couple of super worms here too. I'm gonna take these and put them in here for her and with her food. Put these berries all back in here too. She can finish eating them if she wants them. And she got berries all over my floor, but it's all right. We'll clean all that up. Put it in there. All right.
she's still back there, so let me set this up. There's a worm here that I pulled out. It's about to turn into a um, that phase, I forgot what it's called, right before they turn into a beetle. So I'm going to separate this one out. It was underneath this when I pulled the dirty one out. Must have escaped. Oh, she's going to go up there. <laughs> she tried to, but <laughs> she didn't make it. What are you doing? Amelia, you're crazy. She does kind of move like a robot, huh? The way she bounces around like that. She's just exploring now. Are you going into the corner? scare her away. Let me finish putting this together for her so I can put her cage back together. Alright, let me put this back together because Luna's starting to get a little rowdy about wanting to come in the room. That's closed there, little lady. You can't get in there. Probably smells scout by there because that's he used to lay there all the time. Right, let me put this down because when she gets in here, I gotta put the cage back on. Come in here, look. Come up here. She's like, I'm over it. I'm not even hungry. She gained so much weight. now. And I, I had her in my bathroom for a long time. She was going, she was using it as her own personal bathroom and going on everything, so I had to fix that. Time, I'll set this back up.
things are so flimsy from the way that they hold. Got it. Too, so it doesn't really hold right, but I got it. I got it. It's in there. We're back together. It's all there. Standing correctly like it's supposed to. And the babies are still in here, just hanging out. <laughs> now we just gotta get the mom back in. gonna crawl up on the top of it. She's in the back now. Yep, in the corner. Come on. You gotta go in there now. She's like, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm gonna stay right here. I can pick her up, I just, I really don't want to interact with her like that. I don't want her to be okay with people picking her up and stuff, but I have gloves that I can just put on and like pick her up and put her in there. But I just, I'd rather her just do it on her own. Cause she should be scared of me and she's not. <laughs> and that's kind of bad, you know? And she came in that way. Nope, you can't. You gotta go in. Go inside. There she goes. She's going in. Go all the way. She's smart. <laughs> She's like, I'm not ready to go inside just yet. You can't. You gotta go. You gotta go back that way. Go ahead. Sorry, you guys. I'm like putting using the camera, but I want her to go in. Hear her bouncing around right here. It's like little taps on the ground. She keeps going around the side. No, you gotta go go inside. You were doing it the first time. back in. Your kids are in there. There you go. There we go. Oh, all the way. There we go. We got her. Okay. Sorry, Mama. You can come back out later. I just, I gotta go clean the water and I don't want Luna to get you. Okay. Is she going back to her babies? I'm gonna go check if they're okay. There she goes. She's back in the pouch. Back in the pouch with her babies. <laughs> She's so cute. You can kind of see her there in the corner. Yeah, I know, right? She's like, you're a jerk for locking me in. Nah, she's cool with it. She actually, I'm sure she feels so much safer in there without the worry. Like one of the days Falcor came in here and Falcor was messing with the cage and I saw her looking directly at him. So she was probably really thankful that he wasn't able to get to her. Um, out in the wild, those babies would have probably been eaten really quick. Let me, here, I'm gonna leave the camera on them for a second. 
I'll move it a little, a little taller so you guys can kind of see them. I want to leave a stream on the roach to the roaches too at some point. They're all starting to come out right now because it's getting, it's getting that time, that time of the night when they all come out to the party. And um, I saw you were asking earlier if she can squeeze through the bars, but no, she can't. Or she hasn't, if she could. When I turn off the lights, this whole tank is just covered with roaches running around and jumping on each other and eating the food that I put in there. And I have a whole plate full of food downstairs to put in there tonight. And then I'll set up a stream and... I'll put the uh, I'll put the food in there, and then I'll I don't know I gotta find a way that you guys can still see all the roaches and everything. I'm wondering if I could just put my phone in there with them, but the problem is if if I have a wire that's coming out, they're gonna crawl out the wire. They're gonna use the wire to crawl out, so that's not a good idea. So I'm gonna have to like find a way to maybe put the phone up here, like on this thing. So it stays like that. And then you guys can see everything that's going on. Oh, damn. Thanks for the donation. 20 bucks. Awesome. I appreciate that. Oh, there goes one of them running. But yeah, I have a bunch of different clamps and tripods and all sorts of stuff. So I, I really wanted to get a camera like down in there with them. Maybe what I can do is just charge my phone up and then we'll just let the stream go till it dies. And I'll just put my phone in there with the tripod. Uh, you might have heard Falcor meowing. Actually, we can go see him. I was going to leave the room in a second anyway, so we'll go see Falcor. And I, I know that these dubias can't fly, even though they have wings. But for the first time the other night, when I had them in night vision, I was watching them jump, like from here to there, and from there to there. They were using their wings, and they were like gliding and jumping really far with their wings. It was really cool to watch. So I was like... Oh, and here's one of them that just molted, and he's about to start, or she, I should say, is about to start turning brown. Um, when they molt, they're all white, though. They're, like, completely white. And you might actually get to see one molt if I keep it on here overnight. You have to leave, Has? All right. Um, well, if you're going to leave, since they're already locked in here, I'm going to come out here. Uh, let me bring the bowl with me. Um. Hey, did you make a mess on my bed? Yeah. She was mad. She was mad that I didn't let her in the room, so she pulled my bed apart. Are you pulling my bed apart? What did you do? Look at her look of guilt. Did you mess up my bed? You're a punk. Why are you messing up my bed? Because I wouldn't let you in the room with me? Oh, you're going to give me your paw now? You're going to apologize? <laughs> Luna. Luna. She's like, I'm going to hold your hand and everything's going to be okay. Yeah. Is that what you're doing? You're going to hold my hand? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I know you just missed me. <laughs> oh, here's Falcor. Falcor, you were under the bed the whole time. Wait, I want to say hi to you on camera and you're running away. <laughs> Where are you going? 
Are you leaving? Are you leaving us? No? Where are you going? I'm just gonna sit there and be like, I didn't mess the bed up, Luna did it. Falcor, did you mess up my bed? Or did you mess up my bed? I think you did it. You definitely did it. It wasn't you, right? <laughs> He's like, I'm going to get right in front of the camera and look all cute. Yeah. Meow. Maybe it was him. Maybe it was you, Falcor. Yeah, his fur looks a little bit darker right now because he did shed a bunch from, you know, like they... They shed their coat in the winter time too, and uh, now that it's warmer, he's got a darker coat. Also, the lighting in here is kind of like yellow, and the camera trying to compensate for it and everything probably makes him look a little bit different than he does in person. I don't know. He's, I guess, he kind of looks darker in this room. In outside in the sunlight, though, he he like shines way more silver. But in this, like, crappy light indoors, you see a lot more darkness on him, like, on his fur. But it, he does look a lot darker right now. Are you turning black, Falcor? <laughs> no? And you. Look, you're still making a mess. Are you going to wrap yourself up in the covers next? You guys are going to match soon, Luna. That's what they're saying. They said you're going to match. You and your long ass arms. You and your long wolfy arms. Hey, Robbie, thanks for subscribing. Look at that look of guilt. Are you going to hit the camera again? I'm going to go to Desiree. I'm actually not going uh, to be here very long. I just wanted to go check on the squirrels and make sure that they were doing okay. I mentioned earlier in my stream that I was going to uh, stream it for you guys so you guys could see them as well. Um, it's a lot easier than trying to shoot like a whole video around it, you know? And I figure I'd just do it live. Screw it. But I'm going to get going because I have to go finish giving them their clean water and make sure that they're all okay. Um, and then I'm going to make sure these guys are all fed and have their water. And then probably I'll go to bed and I'll stream again tomorrow or at least I'll try to as long as nothing comes up. Uh, maybe I'll do a stream for you guys tomorrow and I don't know, maybe maybe I'll look for somewhere to go in the morning and then if I, if I can go hiking somewhere that actually has internet, we'll bring Luna and um, we'll go do something cool. I don't know, but you guys have a good night and I'll see you later. Bye.